everything about making the film was different to how films have been made before. I think it was originally he came to see me at the end of 2009 and just sort of talked through the concept of the film. Uh, and I remember at the time being quite blown away by just him talking through it, uh, you know, and feeling quite excited about it. But at that time, not realising in any way just how challenging it was going to be. We started to think more about simulating zero gravity, which was a big challenge. How he wanted to push his his own sort of film language of the long shots and how he wanted to use more of that than he'd done even before. Gravity has become an incredibly successful film, but part of that reason is because we had such a close collaboration between the filmmakers and the, the visual effects people. You know, with so much of the film created in the computer, a lot of the cinematography was going to be executed within the computer. So we had to work very closely together with the other departments, you know, whether it's production design or cinematography, to develop the new ways of making the film. This was easily the most challenging job that Framestore has ever done. I think part of the reason that people wanted to be involved was because the director was so involved and so present here. One of the things that was really important for Alfonso is that you got to believe the faces, you got to believe the actors. If you believe the faces, everything else would fall into place. We didn't have to move them in the complicated ways that they were moving in the end film. You know, they didn't have to be spinning around or one of them upside down compared to the other one. We could achieve that movement by moving the camera and the lighting and by creating everything around them in a computer. We started prepping for the idea of this light box thing, which was uh, Tim and, and uh, Chivo's, the DOP's idea. It was a bit like having, uh, I think it was 1,900,000 individually controllable lights, so that rather than having to move a light, you could dim and brighten different lights at different times, and it gave you the same effect as moving a light. We had all of this incredible reference that showed you exactly what the Earth needed to look like. We had a very particular and demanding director who had a very clear vision for what he wanted and wouldn't accept anything that didn't fit his vision. So on top of trying to get it all physically accurate and matching the reference, we had to make sure it was beautiful. We had a whole team of really gifted map painters. Every cloud in every shot was a hand-painted asset. And we'd paint them by hand in UV space and then sort of lay it out in new on the earth to see what we were going to see in the shot. And then those paintings would be turned into volumes lit by the TDs. And then those were handed off to compositors who would then sit and put them together and really work them up until it felt like the real thing. We had to come up with many new techniques and we were pushing existing technology right to its limit. The opening shot will probably stand for a while as, as a real technical and artistic triumph. I think when you see it, the average audience member doesn't sit back and think, well, well, they made it one really long shot. It just feels like an immediately immersive experience. Nuke was critical to every bit of, of the film, literally from, you know, incredibly early on to the very last bit. It's the scene when Sandra realizes the ISS is on fire. So she comes back into some of the modules and she sees the fires everywhere, it starts to explode. It's basically got everything. I mean, we pushed it to, to such a limit that I, I, I went to John at the foundry and, and said, listen, we got a script with 13,000 nodes, and he just went, you're not supposed to have that many nodes in Nuke. But it actually rendered perfectly fine. We spoke to, to the foundry early about a lot of these issues, and they gave us some very good uh, advice, they gave us some good feedback about how we could uh, optimize our workflow. We were really lucky to have so many great artists involved. There were a lot of moments where we weren't sure how or even if we could do uh, what was being asked of us. Uh, we were really bringing the entire film to life, so it was an easy film to feel really connected to, to feel like you were a part of. I think that's something we, we, we could probably take from, from this experience and hopefully other, other um, productions are looking at this from the same angle. But gravity is a, a special case.